Hi everybody, I'm Sarah with the Sobe Sport Family Fitness and I'm nursing my child, my two month old son David, in the Moby wrap right now. He's in the hug hold and what I did was I loosened the wrap and scooted the X, which is the seat that he sits on, over toward the opposite hip from the breast I'm feeding on. So I'm feeding on my right breast and the X, which is this part right here where he's seated, that part is scooted over toward the left side and hopefully you have already watched that video to know how to get into it. This particular video is going to show you how to get out of this breastfeeding hold. It's always very important to reposition your baby after he or she has enjoyed his fill and then reposition baby up into a safe hug hold so that he or she can fall asleep or enjoy uh, playing. So I think David's just about done, but while he wraps up, I'll go ahead and review some safety measures. You always want to keep at least one hand on your child at all times. I, I suggest just supporting, um, supporting his or her neck in this way. Um, that way you can guide, guide his mouth and make sure the latch is correct. You can also use this arm as a nice cradle and then have a hand free. Um, so hopefully that gives you some ideas. Uh, and again, it's really important, no matter what feeding position you're in, you always want to look, listen, and feel for breathing. Very, very important. Okay, David, you ready to go ahead and come on up? We can show people how, how we do this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lift this panel back up, and you can see that he's sideways. Now, the simplest thing, if he's already asleep, you don't want to bother. I know, let's see if he'll be willing. I'm sorry to interrupt your feeding. Um, the simplest thing is just, just to do that and you're ready to go. Although, actually, I want to fix his hips. Important, important to just check in and make sure, there we go, that the panel goes across from knee to knee and he has hip flexion, which means that his knee is up above his hips. Okay, there we go, that's nice and safe. So that would be the simplest solution. He's just fed, the X is a little bit low, a little bit to the side, but that's okay as long as you feel that he's got space between his chin and his chest, which he's, he does, and you're always looking, listening, and feeling for breathing. So you could just let him sleep back in this position. Um, if his hips are way off to the side, I would go ahead and gently lean forward shimmy a little bit back and you can see I'm pulling him this way and repositioning so that he is perfectly upright and has beautiful spinal alignment. So that would be um, that would be a nice go-to. Now right now he's perfectly safe. The question is how are you feeling? Are you comfortable with where your baby is placed on your body and how is your spine? Very good question because if baby is too low and personally this feels a little bit low to me um, and it can put more strain on my low back if I'm not careful. So I personally would rather wear my baby a little bit higher. Now do keep in mind, if I have baby too high, it puts strain right here in the thoracic spine. So it's really important to just experiment and keep trying until you find the baby in the right position for your body. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you, well, how do you straighten him out and make sure that he's high enough or comfortable enough on you so that your back feels good while wearing the Moby wrap. So let me go ahead and give you a demo and I think David will be willing. So what I like to do is I grab his bottom, support his head, lift up. Well, I lean gently forward while holding him. I lean forward to create slack in the Moby wrap. I lift up and then I lean back to give him a nice table. And this is where I'm gonna lift the seat belt up and see if I can reposition these panels. And what I'm simply gonna do is pull them a little bit tighter. So I'm grabbing the panel, hopefully you can see that. And I'm gonna follow the line all the way across. And you can see I follow the line and it reaches down to the knot. And slowly but surely, we're gonna create a lot, a lot more slack down here by the knot. Okay, so here, I'm gonna now pull the other side. And this is really nice too, because you can see how if I pull this panel, it creates more hip flexion for him, which is really nice and safe for his spine. So keep that in mind, that that is the safest way to wear your baby. And this panel makes a difference in terms of how taut it is, so how tight it is. All right, so I'm gonna lift it and tighten. 
and you'll see that I'm following this panel all the way around. And I'm, I'm leaning back so that he's got a table and then I can reach back and follow that panel around. Now, if I grab these two panels, I create, you can see the X, the crisscross on my back and you can follow, I'm tightening it up, tightening it, tightening. Now I have a lot more slack down here, which is awesome because it means he's nice and tight and press close to my chest feeling really, really good. And I'm gonna make sure that I can always see, hmm, he's starting to doze, it's great. Um, I can always see his face and his nose, all right? So his nose and his mouth. So here, this is where you're gonna wanna retie the knot. It's really important that you do what you feel most comfortable doing. I feel really comfortable because I've got a lot of nice tension on these panels. I'm gonna lean back, untie the knot while still keeping tension, that's important. So I'm untying the top knot and I'm gonna slide back. So now I've got him really nice and snug, double knot it. And you can see the knot's right underneath his bottom. And these two panels you wanna make sure are spread out across his body and again you want to go from knee to knee so as tight as you can make these panels that's really the safest position for baby and you'll feel he's nice and secure and really hugging nice and close nice and tight to you and here I'm gonna lower the seat belt like this make sure that I can always see my baby now if your child is burrowing which a lot of babies do they kind of feel that space in this pocket and they immediately turn their head toward it, then what you can do is help guide him into the other panel. So I'm gonna give you that demo. I'm holding his head, I'm leaning forward, hopefully you can see that, and I'm gonna grab this pocket, which is the opposite pocket from where he's facing. So you can see he's he wants to face that way. So you can either just let him face that way or you can twist him. I'm gonna keep facing him that way and lean back. And you can see how I've now put him inside this pocket, okay? Now some babies like to have an arm out if they're a little bit older and have found their hands, and that way he can have his hand like this. I like to pull the panel down on both sides, like that. And you can see how baby looks in this position. I'll try not to bounce so much so you can see, okay? And this particular, uh, pocket can create a bit of a sun shield or sunshade. Um, now if you don't want the baby's hand out, maybe it's a younger baby and needs a little bit more support here, you can lift this pocket up and over and of course you can still peek in. That's the important thing to make sure you can still see your baby's nose and mouth and you always want to look, listen, and feel for breathing. But let's say this panel is too close to your baby's face and you don't like that, don't worry, you can go ahead and pull this panel. See what I'm doing? Pull this panel and just create a little fold in the opposite direction and over your shoulder to give it uh, some nice tension. And now you can see, see baby is nice and secure. Now you may not be able to see baby's face, but as the person wearing, you being the viewer, but as the person wearing the baby, it's super important that you have the view right down and I can see my baby really easily um, and make sure that he's safe, okay? So hopefully that gives you some nice ideas. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so you can see him like that. Okay, then he's nice and secure. Now you're ready to go about your day. Now he's feeling much more closer to my center of gravity and he feels great, honestly, he feels really, really good. If, it, if you want to, you can spread out the fabric in the back because that creates more surface area on your back, which is much more comfortable uh, for the wearer. Um, the person wearing the baby uh, usually helps distribute the weight more evenly on your back, which again, creates more comfort. So hopefully that gives you some wonderful tools. I'm just so grateful that we have the Moby and have been able to utilize it because it's been a wonderful tool for us for breastfeeding. Again, keep exploring, keep trying, keep experimenting until you find something that's right for you. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.